Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dead Cells. I've just done my warm-up, feeling confident, feeling loose. I think we're going to see that new biome today. Uh, I wanted to start on this screen though just to show you the number of empty jars we still have. There is so much stuff in this game, and so, so much of it we still haven't unlocked. Look at all of this. I kind of can't believe they're still adding to it, frankly. Alright, what have we here? A terrifying claw. Um, honestly, none of these are awesome. Let's go for... Here, we'll do this one. I don't really want to play with the broadsword, but I am fine running whip plus spike shield. And this really doesn't give me any strong feelings about what colors we're playing yet. So, I would really like to see here a repeat of yesterday's feat, where we got both of the scrolls and both of the uh, extra item doors. I don't know how feasible that's going to be. To be clear, you do have to get a little bit lucky. Like sometimes the scrolls are just at opposite corners of the level. And if you're going to stop and fight enough to make sure the combo door happens, and, you know, just like things have to kind of... Oh, I did change up our, our diet as well there, because... I figured it was about time. I've switched us over into Half-Life mode. Uh, let's take a green, because I'm still not really sure what we want to do here. So, you know, we'll be picking up health kits, all kinds of stuff that clearly comes from the future. It's fine. I'm sure there won't be any unforeseen consequences. Get it? Because that's a thing from the video game. I'm, I'm making the reference. Uh, do we... We're pretty close. We're pretty close on our combo... Uh, this is not going to take us anywhere that we need to go. Yeah, we got time. It's it's pretty much just about successfully finding the, um... Really, uh... Maybe we're leaning... Maybe we are leaning a little green here. It's pretty much just about getting lucky and finding that other scroll quickly. So unfortunately, it could be anywhere. Okay, well, there's the combo. It's a bit of a misclick on my part. What am I... Why am I stopping to fight? We're trying to do a thing here. Okay, well, not a lot of options as far as direction. Uh, to be clear, I do think it's way more important that we get the scroll than the, uh, the extra items. So, if we can't find it in time, we can't find it in time. We will find it. Aha! Okay. Never mind. We found it, and it's in time. Let's get a little bit of extra gold, because it's completely free to do so, and then get the hell out of here. Uh, so the only door we found is to the toxic sewers. Well, alright. It'll do. I don't want to go looking for one of the other doors and end up missing the timer, which we absolutely could, right? And this way we do get a little bit of extra money. Oh, hey, it's even the Amethyst this time. What I'm saying is, these are all very positive omens. So, if we're thinking we might be going green, what kind of cool stuff... I mean, a high-level ice grenade is a pretty powerful weapon. And then hope for, like, a cool melee weapon for the, from the other door? I said a cool melee weapon. And do I even want to take a broadsword? I really don't like using it. I think probably not. Uh, what is my current neck? Poison heals you instead of wounding you. Honestly, I think I'd rather have that than this. So I think we're just getting an extra 850 gold. I mean, the broadsword's really a lot better. And we do have the shield. Alright, I'm going to take it and... Maybe I'll just do a bad job with it and we'll end up being real sad. Hey, you know, we'll get the 850 gold eventually. Okay, uh, swarm grenades, ice shards, boomerang. Oh, we can unlock a new shield. Yeah, the assault shield would be fun to use. Okay, let's wait a little bit to do that so we can get a higher level version of it. Which means that I know this didn't work out that well last time, but maybe we're just banking cells for the, uh, for the forge. 
So do I want to buy... I'm going to buy a modifier up for the ice grenade, maybe? Nah, you know what? Let's hold off. Because the main value of the ice grenade is the freezing, not anything else about it. And I'm hoping we can replace this broadsword at the next combo door. So I'm not going to not gonna spend money on this. So do we want, like, gastronomy or something? Do we want to just take a shield thing right away? Honestly... Again, I did not look up how much food you are guaranteed on any, any given level, but honestly, gastronomy is pretty good. Uh, so is Heart of Ice. I'm going to take Heart of Ice. We have a Frost Grenade. I would like to be able to use it frequently. And we are going to be hitting enemies who are frozen basically all of the time. Just because that's the, that's the way that you use the Ice Grenade. This. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I am not going to stress too much about attempting to get the. Um, man, that sucks. I even hesitated a little bit before the second swing, hoping he would come over. Wait, poison heals me. I'm just going to sit in this poison for a second. Okay. And yes, I did stop one hit point short of full health. Just to, that's that's just an intimidation tactic. I want the enemies to see how crazy we are. Nope, oh, that's a bad. That's a bad time. Oh no, he intentionally flung the projectile over us so that we couldn't reflect it with our shield. It's actually a pretty smart move. Okay, we got a small med kit here. What am I doing? I really thought turning around and then attacking was going to hit the bat, because I always overestimate the length of the broadsword. The thing is, you never expect the broadsword to be the thing that it, exactly the thing that it is, because it's like, why isn't this weapon better? I always find myself wondering, why didn't they just make it, like, good, though? Obviously, I'm being a little harsh on it, but I will say I am fairly confident that if they, if the broadsword were designed today with the way that they designed the game at this point, it would be at least 50% longer. Alright. <clears throat> I was a little frustrated um, with the way the... Uh, the way the last thing ended. Not so much because I got killed in a dumb way by a boss that we, like, should have under control, but because I just... so many cells. You know, it was just so many cells left on the ground. Okay. Well, there's 30. Look at me rem remembering I have a shield. Ah, damn it. Yeah, the uh, the bats are really frustrating. They are always a little slower or a little faster than would be would be ideal for you. Whichever thing you need them to be, they are the opposite. I'm just gonna sit here in a poison bath for a second and get back to full health. Who needs who needs combo doors or time doors? Why don't we just? do a bad job and get neither. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember exactly what the timer door is here. If it's the same as out of the promenade, which it totally might be, I believe the promenade one is eight minutes, so it could happen. Also, I didn't see until I was already dropping, but that's definitely like a treasure thing up there. We should probably... Uh, hmm... Probably not a good idea to take a war javelin. Like, I don't think it's a good compliment for the broadsword or for the shield. This I'll take, though. So it creates... Right now it's a burst of oil, but it also creates a toxic cloud. Unfortunately, creates a, uh, creates a cool 
damage field when the effect ends is a pretty rough trait on some tonic. It's like, how are you gonna how are you gonna plan to be near some enemies when the thing wears off? Take some serious forethought. Okay, that guy down there has a star. Oh! It wasn't a scroll, it was a frost blast, which I um hmm. I don't really think frost blast is very good. It's kind of like a it's like a really really slow version of the frost bow, but also it has less range. You know, it's slower and also it has less range. Maybe they've changed it though. You know what? We'll try it. We'll try it out a little bit. We'll see. I mean, it's pretty much the thing it sounds like. It's a Blast of Frost. Gotta love enemies just, just stopping inches above your uh, your melee attack. I wish I could. I wish I could direct our dude to just like aim a little higher. You know where that bat's gonna stop. Just aim where the bat's gonna be. And yes, we absolutely are just gonna sit here and leech poison into our bodies. Okay. Did not hit all three of them. It's a little clumsy, but but we're going to the next area of full health. It is happening. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually know off the top of my head how many scrolls are in this area. So I, if we aren't thorough, I don't know how to know if we've missed any. That's information that's available. I could totally just, uh, I could totally, I could totally know that, but I don't. I think we're gonna take that door. We're gonna we're gonna just benefit from the time thing, but we have a minute here before it's uh, before it's time to leave. Right. The funny thing is, if I freeze them, they always um, they always stop in a place where my melee attack would have hit them anyway. I never seem to have that problem with them being above the uh, above the sword. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do the Corrupted Prison. That is just, like, free stuff, isn't it? And I think we've hit the time door here. We've certainly not hit the combo door, but the time door's just as good. Oh, or maybe there isn't a time door here. That's interesting. It's weird that there's a timed door after some of the second biomes, but not all of them. Alright, uh, we don't have a shield right now. I'm gonna take Gastronomy. How much health do you have to get back from Gastronomy to make it an appropriate pick? I don't know, but it feels like we're gonna get that much back from it at least. And then we're gonna... I have all these freezing weapons. You know what? We're going to be gutsy. Okay. This is an upgrade for sure. I cannot sell the... Really? Huh. That was weird. Okay. Green pan. Two freezing items. We're just going to play really cautiously for a minute here. Apparently, I really, really got a piece of somebody over there. Okay, we're probably going to make it through this. Oh god, that thing. I forgot about those things. Oh god, there's no, el there's no other way for us to go. Okay. Alright, it's fine. We're just going to... One more, one more. Give me something easy. I can take this guy, Frozen. Okay, there we go. We made it through. We live. I do love a good heart of ice. I... Phew. These birds, huh? Oh, God. Still... 
even through the freeze, even with all crits, still not enough damage to prevent him from getting, uh, getting one of his slams off. That's pretty rough, actually. See, those guys have the common decency to die when you hit them repeatedly in the face with a pan. Uh, one of the patch notes... I didn't mean to hit tonic there, I just did that thing that I do sometimes where I press all the buttons. Weirdly, it didn't, it didn't actually execute the freeze, even though I did press all of the buttons, as I was just noting. This area makes me tense. Ow. Oh. Didn't even remember to freeze him first. Also, enemies that I don't yet have a good handle on fighting uh, make me really tense. Basically, I just, I'm not happy to be here. <laughs> that said, it's not going too badly. Uh, I don't really know... 5 plus plus, I mean, I don't, I don't want Frost Blast. I want a real, a shield or something. Uh... You know, Ice Bow is a hell of a lot better than the Blast. This isn't really that expensive, and it scales better. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Like, another big benefit of the bow is that it takes this long to fire. Right? Here, block this. I kind of can't believe that rat didn't hit me. I thought he had died already, so I didn't bother, uh... Didn't bother making a move. Okay. Well, it's cool that we hit the combo goal, uh, also. You know, worth remembering that there is no combo door in the extra biome, so not a lot of benefit to doing so, but it's neat that it happened. It means we're playing well. I don't know, the Frost Blast must be... It must be the case that people like it. I assume they would have changed it by now if if it wasn't getting used. But it's hard for me to fathom what the use of it is, because it's it's slower than the Ice Bell, and it has a shorter range. It works against a larger number of enemies simultaneously. You know, that's it's not literally nothing. Feels like it's pretty close to nothing to me, though. Uh, aha! Iframes. I did a bad job, but I was not punished because I panicked at the right moment. Right, we're definitely going to hold off on that med kit. Ow. I forgot, I forgot for a second that I had a thing. We're getting better at fighting these guys. Uh, it, it is about time to go get that med kit, I guess. Oh, we'll just take this one. So I feel like we're going to come out of here in pretty good shape, and we did get the extra scroll, and we got a decent piece of gear, and it's hard to be mad about this outcome. Do we want to go to the ramparts? Uh, I think I'd rather do ramparts than sewer. I don't know that we really have a great loadout for fighting Conjunctivius, although also I'm doing a pretty bad job against, uh, what's his name lately? I don't think we want any of this gear, so I'm just going to open this to sell something. We should go back and junk that food. Okay, it's probably actually going to be faster to just run. Oh. Uh, also, Conjunctivius doesn't have a front. 
So that's another good reason for us to go fight the... What's his name? That was real creepy. Did anyone else hear the super creepy laughter? God, I hope that was in the game. It was probably the damage effect from uh, from our food perk, our food mutation proccing, but it was also very creepy. No, I went to the ancients. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention because I was too creeped out. I don't want to go to the ancient sewers, man. All right, uh, probably don't want to. I'm not going to change anything right now. Do I want to spend on my pan? Honestly, I think it has pretty good modifiers. I'm just going to leave all my stuff. It's fine. And then, do we take Frostbite? Or... Uh, honestly, I think it's probably Frostbite. If we get a shield, we'll just uh, buy back our mutations and, and pick up some of the parry stuff. Yeah, shoot, I really wish I'd gone to the ramparts. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll end up with a slightly different loadout by the time it's time to fight Conjunctivius. Just making sure. I mean, we could uh, we could pick up the boomerang. That would at least give us a green scaling ranged weapon. My memory of it is that it's not a very good ranged weapon, but it's going to be tough to fight Conjunctivius with a pan, you know. Oh, damn it. Hate, 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 hate mushrooms. The worst part is that that thing happens a lot, I feel like, where I didn't even see... Um, it's really easy to not even see the effect of them... Aiming at the, uh, what do you call it? Aiming at the floor. Because they can do it from so, so far away, like way off screen. Okay, that's interesting. Green throwing knife. You know, we still have our frost bomb. I'm going to take this. We'll, we'll drop our bow for right now. I like green throwing knife a lot. Ah. As ever, getting getting hit before it's even clear what's happening. All right. Well, we don't get healed by poison anymore, but somehow we will survive. This is not leading me up to the mushroom. Damn it. Uh, here, I feel less confident about that uh, about that cursed chest. I think we're going to skip it. It's so easy to fall and take, like, a little bit of dumb damage from some poison or something. I really wish that that damaged him. That would at least... That would at least feel neat if you could trick him into killing himself. Ooh. No, right? No. I did have to think about it, though. Wow, what is up with all the bats? Oh, that's not a safe place. Okay, this area is so strangely built. Uh, yeah, we're missing. We're missing a little under 30%, and then I immediately take damage again. Stomping should make you briefly poison immune so that you can always do the thing I want to do naturally and there can never be any negative consequences from it. Alright. Do we have any idea where we are? Man. This biome is so long and, like, twisted.
twisty. This we will absolutely take. Um, paying more attention to the floor and not missing your challenge rifts is definitely one of the one of the foremost things you can do to make sure you are staying powerful on runs, and I'm really bad at it. Uh, yeah, this has got to be... Even though it doesn't have our damage scaling stat on it, that's got to be an upgrade, right? Can't actually see where we're falling. Okay, well, lucky me that that was safe. Kind of just got stuck in the climbing animation there. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Just a little, little too high there. I feel like I almost always get hit on that one, despite the fact that it's not really that hard to avoid getting hit. So I'm going to... I'm going to count that as a win. I'm going to be proud of myself on that. We really, we barely took any damage. It's pretty good, man. Uh, this one, this one has a little bit of loot. Give me, give me good stuff. Uh, that is not good stuff. I mean, dodging creates a toxic cloud is, is actually a pretty good uh, quality, but not going back to a single point of stats. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I think the tonic prevented us from taking any actual damage there. That is probably not how you're supposed to do that. That looked real funny. Oh, hey, it's time for this thing again. Oh, this sucks. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Not ready. It does seem like there's an unusual number of bats, right? Like, there's always a lot of bats, but there's really, really a lot of bats this time. Okay, now we can go do this. Go down. There we go. The thing is, I need the small amount of money. I guess... It's not impossible that we still could have made the timed door after Conjunctivius. This is probably going to make it impossible, though. And you know, not not missing that was worth a fair amount of gold. Uh, we'd have to we'd have to find Conjunctivius and then win the fight real fast, though. Uh, that's not going to work. There we go. I do feel like I'm getting a little faster at these. Wait, can I really not go up from there? There it is. Sometimes the uh, sometimes the head goop just doesn't want to stick to the wall. I mean, who hasn't had that problem? Am I right? No, nope, wait. Get in there. Nope. Uh, no, wait. This is right. There we go. I think that was pretty significantly the fastest I've ever done that. Why is that thing moving around so much? Did you see that I started to uh, I started to sell it and then it just it moved, so I could not sell it. Oh, this is another another one of these. Uh, I don't think we want that over the tonic. Maybe I will say. We're doing a pretty good job of keeping our health up, and the tonic's a lot less good when your health is high. That said, uh, Wolf Trap, not so good against Conjunctivius. The tonic at least has theoretical use if I take a bunch of damage and then... Right? That's... something. Oh yeah, our bleed scaling is, like, quite good. I thought he was going to have to stop at the part where... We are always seeing the tentacles refuse to go off of the bit of platform that they're on to like go on the pipes. So I thought for sure he was going to have to stop. He wouldn't be able to come over and hit me on the part that's just a pipe instead of a platform. Foolish me. 
thinking that the rules ever apply to anyone else. Okay, not a great leap. Alright, apparently my my whole my whole deal is just busted right now. Not my best work. Oh, right. You're not, you're not supposed to have gotten up there the way I got up there. Great. Great. Wonderful. So happy that spikes can be at the bottom of, of pits that you have to fall down. That said, we're still going to be going into the first boss in a pretty good spot, and I think it's likely that we won't even need to, uh... Ah. Won't even need to buy the potion. Might be able to save ourselves quite a bit of gold for actual gear. I really like the pan. I am so glad we got a, we got a colorless pan here. We've got to be close to done with this, right? I feel like we've been in here forever. Uh, what's this way? I am... I'm tired of traps. It's always traps. Like that one. Alright, well... I guess we're dropping through here. There's no way we're gonna hit the combo goal anyway, right? So probably the exit is on the other side of all these spikes, which I am somehow going to get hit by. Hey look, he did it. Remember all that confidence it seemed like I had? That, that never lasts very long, does it? Right, a little bit of money, and then there's only one green item here for us to even think about taking. I do probably want the root grenade. Okay, yes. Heart of Ice does slow, or does does score cooldown reduction off of rooted enemies. Do I want this instead of the tonic? Yeah, maybe. Alright, and now let's take a quick look and see... Is there anything that is worth going back for? Did we leave health behind? We left an item behind at the top of the level... Oh, I missed a scroll. This place is so, like, so insufferably long. Why does it need to be built like this? Alright, so there's a shop down there. That's a thing. That's a thing. I mean, it's all, it's all money. Alright, so we probably want to go this way. I should, I should get this guy. Okay, so we have a ton of crowd control. All we have to do is make sure that the enemies never get the chance to uh, attack us. And then it doesn't matter how bad of a job I do in avoiding their attacks. Ah, yes, I remember this. The mushroom who got away. Absolutely unacceptable. Alright, that got a little, little close. Probably I was fine. Alright, is there any other reason to be up here? Yeah, I guess we should see what's at the shop, but it's... Feels unlikely I would want to buy anything. Yeah... I'm trying to think, what would even... What would be exciting for us? Was the... Daggers are going to be pretty good against Conjunctivius. We're going to get a lot of bleed off, but then the daggers are going to get stuck in it. There's not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. I think we'll skip the flint because I'm really enjoying the pan. As much as I do think the flint is a pretty good weapon. And then I think we are actually done. I guess there's that... This is not the place. There is that other... 
teleporter down here. And one enemy that I missed somehow? You know what? Don't care that much. Didn't even go in here. Okay. Uh, a 5 plus bloodthirsty shield is pretty cool. This is like a really awkward moment for us to find this. I don't particularly want to have a shield against Conjunctivius. What level's my pan? My pan's a 4 plus plus. I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe we take knives and shield. No, that's dumb. I'm just going to sell this. We'll just find a better shield later. You can tell. I have a lot of conviction. I, I, I believe this is going to happen. Um, I don't know that I want to change up our, uh, our skill. I think I'm pretty happy with our stuff, actually. I think we should be able to handle this. Ah, here we go. I hate it when they just... You think they're going to go up? So you roll across them and they decide to just go to the edge of the area and charge you and they do it at the perfect speed so that they come up right as you roll over it. What I should be doing is waiting for the exclamation point. But what do I have? The reflexes of a normal human person? Ridiculous. What an assertion. Alright, we're going to make ourselves an assault shield probably pretty soon. For right now, we should be in a place where we can do this, though. It's not going to be the fastest conjunctivious clear ever, and it, I totally could get myself hit in dumb ways, but we should be able to get through this. And we're in a pretty good place on health, and we're in a pretty good place on flask. I think we're going to be alright. Man, the root, the root Grenade actually plays really well with Heart of Ice, because he remains rooted the whole time. Uh, unlike the Frost Grenade. Well, I guess the frost the Heart of Ice still works on things that are only slowed. And he does remain slowed for quite a while after the actual freeze breaks. Let's try to bleed him down a little bit evenly. Ah, you. Interesting. So the, the tentacles do have a front, then. I am actually getting crits on them. Alright, who's going to the side? I shouldn't have rolled there. As soon as I rolled, I knew. If only we could hit Conjunctivius in his front. Let me get up here. There we go. This is going better than I thought it was going to. And honestly, I didn't think it was going to go that poorly. So. This is just lovely all the way around. Oh, that's a... I just, I just put myself in a position to have the thing happen again. I'm trying to make sure we get some time in on the high health ones. Alright, I think it's probably time to just start killing. That's probably a much safer way to avoid damage at the beginning, is to jump. So that I'm not already rolling, and when the when the charge comes, I'm ready for it. I really hate it when they get underneath you and they just wait. Ah. That time I was I was in a ready state and I just didn't just didn't dodge. Okay. I just went underground and immediately came up again. Spiteful. That's what that was. It was just spiteful. Yeah, I really like this thing where we, we just have the grenades available all the time because of Heart of Ice. That went actually really, really well. And apparently we've defeated Conjunctivius enough times that there are no longer blueprints for it. Uh, not even cosmetics. 
Also, no loot. But hey, those blueprints were fives. That's pretty good. Uh, sanctuary versus graveyard. Where do I think I'm more likely to do a good job and survive? Honestly, probably graveyard, but we won't go cavern. Slumbering sanctuary is a bad time, man. I get, <laughs> I get messed up pretty bad in there sometimes. All right, so we'll graveyard into clock tower, I guess. And hey, this is 300 cells for the forge. That's 10% of the bar. Hard to feel too bad about that. Do I have anything to give you? I do not. Uh, oh. Not bad. So we have a lot of money we could use on shopping. At this point... Do we want to forge anything up a little bit? We have we have money to play with. You know what? We could we could forge up the pan. We're probably in a place where we're going to be replacing the pan pretty soon, though. And the frost grenade, the like the ice grenade, probably won't benefit that much from being upgraded. This we can upgrade. Okay, I like it when biters crawl from the dead. I think that was probably a good use of some money. We're going to hold off on the other stuff. I don't know which green weapon I am most looking for, but we, because we have so much money, we can afford to reroll a shop, like, several times. I don't know for sure that we're guaranteed to see a shop. Okay, pyrotechnics, unfortunately, not quite what I'm looking for. Alright, never mind. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that was you can you can see on the mini map that that was going to turn into a roof we couldn't scale anyway. The knives are usually so good at aiming up or down. I'm really surprised we couldn't get that one to Oh, hold on a second. I saw that. Very sneaky. Really surprised we couldn't get the knives to lock on any of those dudes though. So, I think this is going really well, actually. I I still 100% fully believe we are going to see the new biome here. Uh, we're probably going to die really quickly once we do. Because new enemies and stuff, it's going to be a nightmare. But we'll at least get to see it. It is kind of cruel of them to put in a new, <laughs> a new biome uh, in that spot. I know that's the spot in the level lineup that needed it the most. It's like the only spot where there's still only one thing you can do, but it's going to be a real pain to learn it because you got to do a good job for like close to an hour before you can even attempt it. Okay, that's pretty good damage. See, this time the, the knives want to aim almost straight down. It'd be nice if they would behave a little bit more consistently. Ow. Oh god, that was pretty crappy for him to just drop us in the spikes, because that's not how that ability generally works. Actually, I should have should have gone root grenade. Okay, well the damage from that didn't actually end up being all that bad though. And remember, we're guaranteed to get a food shop here, even if we don't need the uh, the flask charge. Like the part where there's food is still useful. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Consid <laughs> considering how much panicking I was doing. Okay. Once again, I get, I get so I get so nervous when we have an enemy and we slow them, but then they start their attack animation. It's like, "Oh god, how how long exactly is it going to take for this to go off?" Oh, I hate that. Is there anything that is more guaranteed to get me hit than the fog guy? Did not did not mean to execute a climb. I was trying to just jump and hang on the wall there. But unfortunately the wall was too short. We'll just <laughs> let them let that pick at them for a bit. Surprise! Okay, that very nearly didn't work.
I picked the graveyard because I thought we were less likely to take a huge amount of damage here. And we're pretty used to the graveyard at this point. This this might be the second second area biome that we've run the most. But it's still like it's still very possible for things to go horribly, horribly wrong down here. Man, this pan is scaling all right, though, huh? And honestly, these bleed effects aren't aren't doing too bad a job either. I would feel a lot better if we were hitting our combo doors, but our gear is good. We have lots of money when we find relevant shops. I think we're going to be okay without it. And we're going to end up, thanks to the green, we're going to end up with quite a lot of buffer health. Which will hopefully buy us a little bit of time in the distillery to, you know, figure out what the hell's going on in there. Uh, I still, I still have hope that maybe we will make it to, <sighs> I was going to say maybe we'll make it to five cells. I don't know. I'm really, really curious what's in that door. But also, five is a, it's just a lot, you know, it's just a lot of cells. And I don't know how much harder things get. I know on, on four... You get malaise, I think, whenever you get hit. It's certainly not just a thing that happens to you in the final area. We need, like, a weapon shop. I don't really... don't really want skills. Uh, we should definitely take that. Maybe on five, you just... you just can't get hit. You're permanently cursed. Right? It would, it would almost have to be something like that. Uh, no, I don't think we want either of those. Our skills are in really good shape. It's it's a real total bummer that we are only being offered skills. For example, just show me some damn weapons already. What do you think? How much you want to bet? It was. It was a skill. Hooray. At this point, it's just it's just cruel. That doesn't bounce quite the way I wanted it to. Oh, that's right. Rooted guys can't turn around. Okay, this is the Moonflower Key? No, this is just an Amethyst. Well, that's why we check. Alright. I have hope. I have hope. I'm trying to just, like, be positive. You know what? We're going to go down and we're going to clear out Fog Guy before... Maybe I... maybe we actually get to Fog Guy through the spikes. I just think it's really important to make Fog Guy a huge priority. The area that the fog affects is so huge. This is the Moonflower. Yes, okay. I can't get... can't get up! Okay, Jesus. Sometimes he will actually just throw the knives straight down. <laughs> I saw that rat. I saw it. Oh, hey. He has more friends. I went to uh, I went to throw my frost grenade, and it was on cooldown. Okay. Just like they say in the Bible, thou shalt not suffer a, fro a fog guy to live. Oh my god, you have so much health. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I feel so much more secure now. Feel less... I feel less secure. I mean, our pan is starting to get outscaled a little bit, right? 
It's not the pan's fault. Nobody scales up forever. That noise, though. That noise doesn't even need to scale up. That is a top-tier noise. Uh, yeah. We're probably going Sepulchre. Right? Is it that or Cavern? I mean, obviously, we're not doing the Cavern. Okay. That's big health, too, I believe. Wow, we're getting spoiled a little bit. I'll go ahead and take this now. Ah, why did I roll so far? Why would I do such a thing? What is wrong with me? It's very easy to just, like, have an idea of how an encounter is going to go. And not really, uh, not really give yourself the time to think about whether that idea is realistic. Okay, we'll just teleport out of here. So that's the way to the cavern. There's a thing we really don't want to interact with over there. I guess we're done? We've left a lot of food behind, which is pretty unusual. And not a single weapon shop, huh? That's a bummer. Okay, yes, the creepy laughter is just the uh, the effect of the food mutation when you do not have any uh, health missing. I guess we know there's a shop in the part of the dungeon we haven't explored yet, but that's just going to be the food shop, right? I guess maybe I shouldn't have sold all the food yet. Because if we're going to go do this food shop, if we're going to go enter this door... It is possible we're going to take damage on the way there, and it's also possible we'll take damage inside. Because there might be enemies in there. We don't have to do it, but because of the fact that there might be enemies in there, I think it's a good idea. You know, it's loot. You know how I feel about loot. You know how I feel about jamming cells into that forge. Okay, no such luck. Well, we're just killing it on health. I was really looking forward to an opportunity to spend some of this money. All right, let's let's head over to the uh, to the sepulcher and hopefully we'll find a cool shop in there. Also, hopefully you can get to the new biome by going through the uh, the timekeeper fight. I mean, the timekeeper fight is probably going to be our real our real health issue, right? Uh, do we want to unlock anything? I don't think so. I mean, I do want this assault shield eventually. But I think I'm going to hold off again. I think I, I want my daggers during the sepulchre. Good to have a weapon you can move real fast with. So I guess we're just going to keep pushing forward here. Just carry all of our resources with us. Now, we have had some things go very horribly awry in here in the past. But that's okay. It's not going to happen to us this time. This time we have the power of confidence on our side. That was as confident as I could get that to come out of my mouth. Uh, yeah, definitely not. In case you were curious, yes, taking even a single point of damage from the darkness does uh, kill you if you are cursed. Let's relight. Come over here and do a little bit more fighting. I hope y'all don't mind if I'm being a little bit uh, a little bit cowardly around the big mummy. Big mummy's a bad dude. His attack is so fast. Time to go and find the light. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, look at me learning. Look at me learning. Right, backing up. <laughs> Clear the way a little bit. Go refresh. Damn it, I thought I was... <clears throat> that was supposed to be a double jump taking us up onto the platform. It, uh, I, I donked it just a little bit. Okay, well, it turns out this isn't even a way forward. Oh, God. Accidentally woke an elite. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to carry him with us to here. 
Ah. Okay, uh, blowgun 7 plus. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I guess, really, the smarter way to do that would have been to have him, uh... Ah, oh, god. Pretty annoyed about that, actually. Just, again, a little bit of panic reaction, just running away to, uh, to regain equilibrium. I don't know how safe it would have been to, like, turn around and try to fight. This definitely feels like a situation where turn around and try to get your health back could just immediately get you killed. But we lost an awful lot of health to it. Boy, all of a sudden they really want us to be on a purple build, huh? These guys always in this biome? Alright, I'm pretty sure our light just got refreshed there. We were close enough to the light to the light sources in the, the hallway below. Ah, I didn't roll through him. Why? Why did the rolling stop? Okay, we're just gonna... Okay. Managed to recover most of that and then immediately lose it all again. Getting to a place here where the, uh, the, the shortness of the pan is starting to become an issue. This is a nothing. Looks like there's a shop directly above us. That, that could be something. That gives me a little bit of hope. Hope that we will find some damn gear. Uh, wow. Well, they did finally show us some weapons. Alright, please, please, please. Of course. Of course it's a skill shop. Uh, do I think this is the right... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So through here and down a lot very quickly. Boy, I don't know. I feel like I was, uh... feel like I was pretty far above that. So I think the issue is... Oh, he can just charge right out of being rooted. Interesting. And the problem is that I'm jumping to clear the line, but it's the whole body that hits you. Okay. Wow, that sucks. That was a, that was a bad time to miss my grenade. Okay, so down there we see the Moonflower key thing in the wall. Ah, oh, thank you, speed buff. Sweet, sweet speed buff. Right, there's another teleporter just below uh, that checkpoint. So if this turns out to be the wrong way, we at least have some options. Okay. Never fight anything that isn't crowd controlled. As far as strategies go, that one feels all right. That, <laughs> that one's not bad. We're taking a lot less damage this way. Also, it's nice to have lots of explosions with which to kill bats. I'm trying to get them all a little closer together so we can hit them all with the same grenade. Ooh, okay. They were all they were all totally pacified and crowd controlled and I still almost managed to get stabbed there. A 
A lot of weapons move you around with their attack animations, and this one is no different. Do we want to go back and get the health item? Yeah, we should probably just go ahead and do that now. Don't see much sense in delaying. Dude did not want to drop. Okay. So this way will lead us to the door, and then we'll be pretty close to the exit, right? After you get through the second lock. Alright, we should probably just run at this point. Oh, never mind. There's, there's light right below us. I cannot describe to you the joy I feel every time it says Explorer's Instinct. Alright, let's take a moment here and go through the roof. I just wanted to refresh my light before I did it. Uh, this sucks, and we're rapidly running out of light. Alright, I do want the money. That's easy enough to go get. I just needed a refresh real fast. Alright, this is gonna fade. Or did fade. Already did fade. Uh, how do I get to that guy? Because I would like to punish him for his crimes. I see. Alright, so... This is going to take us to the final hallway? Alright, we made it to the clock room. We are short a flask charge which is fine because we're about to get a flask charge and then we do not have the best items in the world for fighting clockman in my opinion this would seem to be a good time to unlock that shield i like the assault shield a lot so in addition to uh in addition to it being a shield that has you know parrying and stuff it does this there you go. If you just stop and hold it, it doesn't take you anywhere. But when you do the parry, it charges you forward. You can do it in midair. It gives you a lot of extra mobility. It's very cool. Uh, I think the odds of us dying here are low. We might take a ton of damage, but I think it's okay to bank cells for the forge. And it, it would be good if we capped out our forge, right? Okay, I am at the risk of losing the cool modifiers, because this has really good modifiers. I am going to push this all the way to ass. Okay, we got the attacking bonus back. Freeze's enemies blocked with a parry is actually pretty huge. And if we're going to be stuck with this pan through the boss fight, I'm going to I'm gonna upgrade it. And then I might re-roll it as well, because bleeding and electrify are both things we don't really have access to. Okay, bonus damage on rooted targets, bonus damage on stunned targets. I'll take that. And do we want to refigure our mutations? Probably. I mean, gastronomy is certainly not going to help us with the boss fight. So I still like Heart of Ice a lot. Uh, and then Spite is pretty big. What doesn't kill me could be good. We could just, we could just take those two, honestly. Uh... Counterattack is also exciting. Yeah, maybe it's like counterattack plus bite. I'm gonna do that. And what it's only two thousand gold to yeah to rebuy rebuy our mutations again. Okay, we are going to hit parries. It is going to happen. Having a shield with which you can parry is one of the best ways of dealing with the. Uh, the chain, the, the hook shot attack, because you can just let him hook you and then parry the attack that comes afterward, which happens at a very predictable timing. Alright. Also, you can just parry the hook shot itself. That's also fine. Ah, stop running away! Pretty good, I think. Ah. 
was a, a small mistake there. I can't believe we didn't take damage from those, uh, from the stars. Now remember, there is no, uh, there's no flask charge after this. We've gotten our last flask charge. So, it would be good to not take a bunch of dumb damage here. Ah, whiff the parry. I definitely feel like we're doing better than last time, at least. It's still not good. Certainly, certainly nowhere near the best we've done during the series. Ah, oh, somehow that didn't get me my parry. Ah, uh, damn you. There we go. I successfully led him that time. Uh, I hate this. Also, I feel like... I feel like sometimes he does that three times, and sometimes it's only twice. And I've, there's probably a tell, but I don't know what it is. I mean, aside from the fact that he's, you know, you see the yellow line a third time. I would like to know ahead of time, a little bit earlier. Ah, please stop doing that. Okay, wow, that parry was a lot of damage. I gotta actually hit my parries. Oh, that was a jumping roll that I did there. Uh, apparently you cannot roll through the swords. Again, the running. Always with the cowardice. I think I must have blocked too early there is why I didn't... There we go. Finally. Jesus. That was real bad. I took a lot of damage on that one. Well, you know, still, a run that gets through the Timekeeper is good. And we did really well for the early part of this run. It's hard to be too upset about that. Okay. High level Mushroom Boy. This is actually interesting stuff. Do we want to take a 6 plus Ice Crossbow? Just stow the shield... Hey, the Ice Crossbow is probably a pretty safe way to approach an unfamiliar biome. We'll throw this in here and we'll just dump the pan. And then, honestly, I do want this. Uh, wait, do I? Do I want this badly enough to actually drop either of our safety grenades? I don't think that I do. I mean, he's going to do so much damage, though. Yeah, all right. We'll keep the Frost Grenade because it plays really well with the Crossbow. Okay, we can, in fact, get to the distillery from here. Well, I feel all right about this, actually. I know I was just I was just pretty bummed out about the way that fight went. The fact that we had to spend our entire flask there really sucks. But we managed to get a ton of items into the forge, or a ton of cells into the forge this run, which is great. Health potions only restore 45%, but their use speed is increased by 300%, and it gives you a three-second shield. That's okay. Uh, I am going to reset our mutations again, because <laughs> all of a sudden we're not shielded. Let's go... I'm, I'm actually just going to take back the ones we had before. Do I do believe that's the case. If we want to survive here, we're going to be reliant on food. So that's the castle. Alright, new stuff. Take me to the Derelict Distillery. It is weird that it doesn't have the full name over the thing. Alright, so it's full of... Full of barrels of, apparently, explosive alcohol. You've reached the distillery for the first time. Oh good, more kinds of traps. How does one... When I shoot it, it wobbles. Ah, okay, you have to knock the... You have to knock the barrel into it. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Kind of a, oh, kind of a lousy welcome so far. Right, so there's just like a lot of things in here that explode. Oh! That caught me off guard. There's an enemy over there just hurling barrels at us. Okay. It's pretty weird in here. 
Damn it. Okay, I need to actually get over there. So, uh, not just enemies who have explosive barrels. Some of the enemies are explosive barrels. Okay. Nope, no attacks. No throwing stuff at me. Ooh. I can see this area being very stressful if you're melee focused here. Okay, we're gonna go the other way for a moment. Just see see what's up here. Uh is that guy gonna get up when I get up there? He might be real drunk. He might be dead, I suppose. Are you Yeah, he's okay. So I guess this is where all of the distilling is happening. Look, I'm gonna level with you. I don't know enough about alcohol to get if there's any kind of special thing going on with the environmental narrative here. It looks like alcohol making to me. This is... This is tense. I'm tense. Okay. Ow! So they're just coming straight down. Okay, I thought it was going to be more of a, uh... Yo, this sucks! <laughs> Thought it was going to be more of an angled down kind of thing. Alright. Cool, um, it's really cool aesthetically. I'm having, I'm having a little bit too much tension to even really notice. Barrel Launcher 6 Plus. Huh. Um, I don't, I guess we have to. How exactly does it work? It inflicts a critical hit if the barrel bounces off of or has been reflected back and forth. Okay, so if you don't land it right away. I mean, I'd really rather stick with my thing here if it's all the same to you. Are we going to need the barrel launcher again? No. Huh. Why is this... Why is this like this? What a weird area. Where's the nearest tel- uh, if we took the teleporter, it'd get, all get us all the way back down there. I mean, actually, there's probably nothing over here, right? I guess we do want to take the teleporter. I was coming back to explore... Uh, that thing. But the only reason we didn't see all the way to the wall there is because the wall is shooting explosive barrels. So yeah, I guess we'll just teleport back out, and maybe we'll end up needing this, and we'll come back for it. Weird gimmick, cool aesthetics. And I like how goofy the new enemies are. Oh god. No, stop. I don't know why you want to be so close to me, but I do not like it. Oh right, Mushroom Boy. I totally... Took this mushroom boy and then forgot to forgot to get him out. Please kill it quickly so that it stops shooting guys at me. Okay. So maybe we're gonna wish that we had that barrel launcher. I mean, it's right next to the teleporter. It's not not difficult to go back and get it. Okay, I'm not seeing the um, the indicator on those guys, if there is one. It kind of seems like a lot of the time when they pop up... Okay, so it is it is definitely an actual like barrel that is visible in the background. It's not just coming out of nowhere. I'm sure I will learn to recognize the tell in time. Ugh. Well, I hate this. I'll wait for this guy to back away a little bit. Alright, excellent work from Mushroom Boy.
Okay, so if we're clever... Ah, uh, that didn't really do that much damage. I hit it right as it's falling past. No, it... It really does need to be... It needs to be bounced when you are on the same plane as they are. Guess that shield guy's just never gonna turn around. Oh, spikes! Cool! Great! Oh, I went to jump across to escape from these guys and I b got barreled. Okay, well that area is real weird. <laughs> At least we saw the new thing. I was kind of hoping, if we got to the new thing, that we would also get some new blueprints from the new thing. They did say that there were two new weapons. But, I'll take that. That was honestly, I think, a pretty solid performance up to the Timekeeper, where I just did like an exaggeratedly horrible job. All right. I think that is where we are going to have to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. The distillery seems like a really cool place, and I would really love to explore it sometime when I have just a just a tiny bit more health stuff in reserve so I don't have to be so nervous the whole time. And when you come back next time tomorrow, that is exactly what we are going to do. We'll see you then.